Who would have thought an American man's passion for sailing would go a long way? Hilary Isaac tells us about the story of Rob Layton and his sailing vessel, which he and his ministry uses to bring humanitarian aid to people affected by natural calamities in Southeast Asian countries, including here in the Philippines. Seattle is a lively metropolitan hub in the heart of a jaw-slacking natural setting. It is a coastal seaport that acts as a melting pot of different cultures, reminding us that we are all somehow connected in that it is indeed a small world after all. Here in Washington State, we meet a local Seattleite named Rob Layton, whose hobby is to restore, build and sail boats. A hobby that does not come cheap. But what makes Rob's passion for boats unique is that he has chosen to take what is called a rich man's hobby and turned it into his means of helping communities in need from countries all the way across the globe, one of which is the Philippines. Rob, tell us where your passion for boat building and sailing started. Well, it started when I was about eight or nine years old. And I used to uh, read a lot of books when I was a kid. I mean, I get inspired by uh, some of these stories of guys sailing around the world. Yeah. And then I started reading that I could actually build a boat. Partnering with the leaders of Seattle-based Network Christian Ministries, Rob helped establish Isla Aid, a nonprofit organization whose vision is to help provide medical attention, meet personal needs, as well as help expedite construction projects like orphanages and schools for children in areas devastated by natural calamities like the most recent Typhoon Ruby and Typhoon Yolanda. Uh, one of my dreams growing up was when I built my boat, I would sail it to the South Pacific and, and help out people that lived on islands. We both love, you know, just um, reaching the lost, doing outreach together. It just came out naturally, you know, because I think it's, it's in our heart, you know. Isle Aid is just about like a sailing uh, ministry humanitarian aid. Rob and Sonia is like our our hands that reach out mm -hmm. to our countrymen and, and the Filipinos that are there that directly involved in their lives. You know my partnership with Rob and Isla Aid uh, makes that even more efficient with the vision that he has. So we'd sail to the Philippines and use our schooner to deliver supplies, uh, be like the the first responder to a typhoon um, hit areas, you know, places where there's no ferry, there's no airplane, you know, and there's no airport, you can't drive there, so you know, most of those places don't get any help. And I believe that you know, our being here allows us to have the resources to help our countrymen in the Philippines, and Rob was like a, a godsend to <laughs> us, and, because he's, he's more Filipino than I am now. <laughs> Just like now we're, we're living here in the U.S., and like sometimes he would tell me, it's like, I'm, I'm homesick. I'm like, why are you homesick? And when he says that, that means he's homesick. Yeah, he wants to go in the Philippines. That's his home. To witness the international community come together in aid of nations ravaged by natural calamities is an inspiring thing. People like Rob, who live on the other side of the world, you choose to venture into the battered and beaten places who give up first world luxuries and distractions in order to jump in the muck and give a helping hand to those who have lost everything, they are the quiet everyday heroes. They remind us that we are all human, living on the same planet, sharing the same world. And when we help those who cannot help themselves, we allow the wheels of love and compassion to keep on turning.